the way that ninth inning unfolded, as you were getting closer, I guess, coming up to bat, just, you know, what was your thought process, especially going against Diaz, one of the better closers? Yeah, I think just watching the, the inning, um, I know that me and Berger talked in the past. He might be a guy that you want to wait out. He might be a guy that will walk you before, you know, he gives you something to hit. Um, but just watching Bruhan, watching Jazz, um, Dela get hits there, um, decided to try to jump him. Um, he left that, that slider over the part of the plate, and I was able to do the Did you think it was gone as soon as you did? Yeah, I had a good feeling about it, but it's tough here in Lone Depot. Um, you can never know dead center, but um, yeah, it felt good off of that. Just the emotions going around the bases, and then also just seeing some of your teammates react. Just, if you just describe how that happened. Yeah, it was nuts. I mean, uh, obviously, you know, the fifth, sixth inning rolls around. You, you're hitting the, the let's go Mets chance. You know, like I know their fans travel well, um, but it was it was nice to hear our fans cheer um, that that whole inning. So. Uh, Kind of blacked out there for a little bit, um, but uh, I felt like it was it was the moment to do so. So I can't take that back. Where would uh, this rank home runs or moments for you in your career? Definitely up there. Um, it's a top five. I mean, I don't know. Um, I, I think the just situation in the game, and then it's a future Hall of Famer out there, uh, best closer in the game. So uh, happy to obviously help our team win there, but. First and foremost, I don't think I've got a hit against him in the big league, so get that first one out of the way and, and go from there, I guess. Since the calendar turned to May, just been, what have you been focusing on? Is there any tweaks? Just what sort of been the change in production? Yeah, I think just trying to do less. Um, but for the most part, uh, same approach. Uh, I just wasn't getting balls to fall for me. Um, but that's baseball. Can't focus too much on it. I, I think my batting average on balls in play was like well below my career norm. So just kind of wait that out. Trust the process. Trust that you play so many games, it's going to even out. So happy to be on the other side of it. What were the emotions seeing Otto? Yeah, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better person, um, better hitter in, in that scenario. With the at bats that he's had the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, his bat to ball skills is incredible. It seems like he's always on the barrel. Um, he's definitely playing the game the right way. It's, it's fun for him. It's fun to watch. Um, it's fun to celebrate with him at the end of the game. You had a slow start last year. Is there anything you could take away that you've been able to take away from that into this year, just in terms of whether it's a mental grind or anything? I think last year um, I hit a lot more trying to get through the slump, and this year I'm trying to take the other route of just trusting myself and trying to go into games fresh and understanding that if I have my feet underneath me and if I'm swinging at good pitches, good things are going to happen. So trying to try less. Year.